guys, so today I'm going to be doing my January favourites. I've got a few beauty products, a few lifestyle favourites, so let's just jump right in. So I'll first start with the beauty products, so if you don't like that you can just skip ahead and watch the rest of the video. So the first thing is actually the only makeup product and it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This one is in Diffuse Light, this is the packaging it comes in. And then this is what the powder looks like, it's sort of a yellow, um, just really soft powder um, with a little bit of shimmer in it. And if you haven't tried the ambient lighting powders before, they are amazing. Well, I can only speak for this one, but I use this, because you can use them in multiple different ways. I use this one as a all-over face powder. It has replaced my mineralized skin finish by MAC. And it is just a gorgeous colour. It doesn't really add any colour to my face. It just helps to blend and soften everything. And you don't really see the shimmer, but it just gives this gorgeous glow to your skin and it has lasted me ages. I got this the end of September and you can barely tell I've used this. The next product is a makeup wipe and these are the Tea Tree Facial Wipes. Um, I'm not quite sure who these are by. On the back it says specifically produced for Expel Marketing. Um, there's not really a brand on it but this is what they look like. You get um, 25 in a pack and they are like they say tea tree wipes so I find they work really nicely on my skin they make me feel really clean you have that strong um, tea tree smell and I actually got these from the range which is a chain of stores around the UK I'm not sure where else you can find these maybe Superdrug will have them um, and at the range you get a double pack so 50 wipes for a pound you really can't go wrong at that price. I've, for years, used these simple makeup wipes. I've like, sworn by them. I feel they get my makeup off really well. I know it's not the best makeup routine just by using wipes. Um, but for now, I've switched to these and I plan to repurchase them for the near future. The next and last sort of beauty product is a perfume. Um, or a, a fragrance. This is Pink Chiffon Fragrance Mist by Bath and Body Works. Um, as you can see, I've used over half of it now and I've just really been loving it this month. It's a very warm, elegant scent. It's not that heavy perfume smell that some um, sort of typical um, perfumes can have. It is just really nice. I do have, even though this is a fragrance mist, I do have the perfume as well. But I find the scent lasts, it smells amazing, it's sort of got a little bit of a vanilla -y scent to it. I suggest that you smell it. I will start off with the two books that I really enjoyed from January. The first one um, is Annexed by Sharon Dogger. This is about um, Anne Frank's diary. Her, it's based off her story, but told as if it was from Peter's point of view, who also stayed in the annex with the Frank family. I really really enjoyed this. I will link um, the post where I sort of gave it a small little review down below as well as my Goodreads page where I've explained more about it. I'll also link the video my top five holocaust books because I did feature this in that. The next book is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg or Zoella. This book really exceeded my expectations. I didn't really have any idea of what it was going to be like going into it but I was really pleasantly surprised and again I will link my blog post and my corresponding video to that below. So those are my two book favourites from the month. The next favourite is a CD and it's what I've been playing in my car at the moment and it is the McBusted CD and um, this is their first one as a super group has they are widely known as. I've just really been loving it and I not only play it in my car but I've also been playing it with the next favourite art that I'll show you in a minute. Um, some of my favourite songs if you're curious obviously Air Guitar and Get Over It, the two, one, the two singles that they've sort of been pushing for. Um, I quite like Riding On My Bike, Gone, um, Back In Time, 
those are the sort of my few favourites that I've been listening to. I've said I've been using something to help me listen to that and this is the Soundlink Mini by Bose which you can see there. It is this really small little speaker that connects um, by Bluetooth to your phone. Um, I use this mainly when I want to listen to music in the shower. Um, I just find it really easy, really convenient. I have a large speaker by Bose. It's probably about that big. And you actually have to plug your phone in. With that, I don't have an iPhone 6 connector. It only has one that can connect into my old 4 phone. So this has been really handy. This is actually my dad's that he's been letting me borrow. Um, and I feel like it gives off a pretty large amount of sound for being such a small speaker. <laughs> The next few pieces are sort of fashion and accessories. The first one are a pair of shoes, which I showed in my January collective haul. I have been loving these. These are my Nike Rocher Runs. Um, I got them from Office. They are um, black with this sort of cool grey pattern on the side of them. Um, I've just really, really been liking them. Pretty much go with everything. I've worn them shopping before with um, jeans. Um, today, when we went out this morning, I'm wearing jogging bottoms and I put on my next favourite, um, which I'll show you in a minute, and it looked put together. Even though I'd made very minimal effort, it looked put together, it looked nice, and yeah, I just find they're so comfortable to wear. They're going to be great for going to theme parks and going on holiday and see them being a favourite throughout the year. The next favourite is a coat, so it's going to be slightly hard to show but I'm going to do it to the best of my abilities. It's quite a long coat and it is by the brand Lipsy which you can find at places like Next, um, some larger department stores like um, Debenhams. I actually did get this in Debenhams, it was around £90 which is a lot for a coat. I got 10% off because there was a slight scuff on it but since like you can barely see it so they took 10% off which was great it just made it non-refundable which I was fine about and um, yeah this is what it looks like it is this beige coat with um, it's got a fur collar around the top like faux fur and it's also got the same fur around the cuffs and then on the back it's got this really nice bow design on it which just helps to cinch in a little bit better. It's got these gorgeous um, buttons which I will try and show you. Double breasted, it is just really gorgeous, it's a really smart coat, keeps me nice and warm especially with this faux fur. I don't tend to wear um, a scarf when I wear this coat because I find you, you just have nowhere for the scarf to go. But it is just really gorgeous, again it helps dress things up. If you haven't made an effort, just throw on this coat and it looks like you've made some sort of effort with your outfit. The last sort of accessory favourite is a bag. Um, you'll see this in one of my upcoming videos or if I've already posted it, I'm not sure, but you'll also have seen it in my What's In My Bag video. It is this bag by Kath Kitson. It's this fold away mini shopper bag. Um, I got this in the sale. You may still be able to find it, I'm not sure though. Um, more so online than probably in stores their sale is ending within the next couple of days so by the time this video goes up probably won't be able to find it but yeah check online if you do like it so my next favourite is probably quite an unusual one for someone of my age but I have really enjoyed knitting in the month of January and continuing into February. Um, for some reason, like sort of mid, early to mid January, I had this idea in my head that I wanted to start knitting. I turned to YouTube, um, I just searched knitting for beginners, I found a really great video, um, I will link that below if you're interested in starting knitting. I learned how to cast on and I'm currently making myself a scarf. Um, I went into where I work, there's a little haberdashery around the corner, so I went in there, got myself a pair of needles, got myself some um, wool, and just started basically. Um, i show you what, how much I've done so far. Um, this is the scarf that I've started knitting. As you can see, it is a little bit holy. Um, 
I've definitely got better as I've gone along um, but it's a little bit holy in places um, I have only learned so far to do the niche niche the knit stitch because you can do knit and purl um, I have not learned how to do the purl stitch yet um, I wanted to keep it really simple really basic and so yeah I've just been doing the knit stitch and that is what I will continue to do for the rest of this scarf in hindsight I wish I would have bought a larger wool um, with larger needles um, but I was purely going on what the lady in the store helped me with she said this would be good to start off with um, I've nearly finished this um, yarn of wool um, it's sort of this really nice denim blue colour I thought it would be nice I don't know if I'll end up wearing this in the end um, but I've just really been enjoying doing it it's something that's non-technological that I can just sit down and do but I, at the same time I can do it whilst I'm watching TV. Your curacies are 4mm needles. Um, I did have to get larger needles than the ones I originally bought because the width of the scarf is quite long um, and then I also bought a little stop off the end so it doesn't come all off the needle. So my next favourite is that I've just been blogging and YouTubing in January and for the foreseeable future I hope um, it was something that I'd been debating about for ages, restarting this channel actually for many years, if you didn't know, um, about four years ago or so. I dabbled around with YouTube a bit, I was doing beauty videos um, and I just ended up stopping it mainly due to the people around me finding out about it and at that age I just wasn't comfortable with people I know being aware of my videos and now I'm YouTube is definitely more widely accepted and I'm just, I love putting up YouTube videos and um, the blogging side of it, I love writing, um, I'm mainly doing book reviews at the moment but there are a couple other um, posts that I've really enjoyed creating, one of which is the Why I Left University After a Week post, if you want to find out more about that I will link it below as well as the other most popular post which has been my concentration camp experiences which I created around the um, anniversary of the holocaust which was 70 years a couple of weeks ago. So yeah head on over to my blog it is Sophie Helen um, that's the name of the blog if you want to go check it out it's always linked in the down bar as well as any other social media. Speaking of um, YouTube I wanted to um, mention two of my favorite youtubers from this month and actually they've been favorites for a little bit of a while now the first one are a duo called Rhett and Link um, I found them out probably about nine months ago I'd say they are two people who it's kind of hard to describe what their videos are unless you watch them I'm actually gonna click onto their YouTube channel and just um, run off a few of what their videos are. So Rhett and Link, the, the, they've got a couple channels but the main one I watch is called Good Mythical Morning. They do it every morning in the week and then they obviously don't post on weekends. So I'll just um, read off a couple of their um, videos. So they've had a dance battle featuring another YouTuber. They've had um, Fastest Ways to Fall Ex fall asleep which they did as an experiment on their show um, the sugar free taste test they did to see if they could um, tell which of the items that they were trying if they were sugar free or not um, they did a singing challenge with the group Lady Antebellum um, Will It Donut like I just said um, they talk about the six worst world record fails um, and yeah, and in the month of January they bought back um, the new season, they'd had a break after Christmas so it was really nice to get back into that. Um, in England they post um, at 11 o'clock every day, obviously it differs from which time zone you're in but in the UK it is 11 o'clock. So that is the first um, YouTuber, I will link that in down below. It's kind of hard to describe but I really recommend that you check out their channel if you like a little bit quirkier videos, if you like seeing interesting challenges, games, experiments, that sort of thing. So a completely 
different YouTuber is um, a Canadian um, sort of vlogger called Gillian. Um, her channel is Gillian at Home. She does a lot of sort of beauty videos as far as like hauls, that sort of thing. Um, she does a lot of weekend vlogs, um, which, which often feature her sister Hilary. They are hilarious. Um, they are just so funny as sisters. They both live in the same apartment block, so you often um, see Hilary in her videos. Um, they've recently just gone to Disney World together, so that is an amazing set of vlogs that you really need to watch. So she does hauls, vlogs. I'd say her vlogs are sort of her best video that she puts out there. Um, she's done a couple subscription boxes, um, reviewing them, um, which are hilarious. So if you really are looking for, um, she's a little bit, she reminds me a little bit of Essie Button. She brings that, um, girly fashion beauty aspect to it and obviously her vlogs but there is a huge comedic side to her um both her and her sister hillary so i really recommend her youtube channel i will link it below it includes all of my favorites today um let me know in the comments if you had any favorites from the month of january i hope to get this video up in the next couple of days so it's not too far into february until my next video i will see you soon bye guys